Hello everyone and welcome in this new video in which I'll show you the World Championship between Dinkley Ran and Neponek Chiyan. I hope the pronounce is correct. Um, this is the game number 6 in which uh, Dinkley Ran is white and uh, he played d4. Knight f6, knight f3, d5 and after move 3 now we have the London system. Um, c5. Uh, e3, knight c6, knight e2, takes, takes, bishop f5. Uh, I think the move bishop f5 is a key move. Usually in my games, uh, when bishop f5 is played, I know my main plan is to attack on the queen side. And also in this game, the Ingliran choose this strategy to attack on the queen side. It made a very, very wonderful game uh, uh, using this idea. Uh, very often when there are beginners, they underestimate the power of attack on the queen side. So this can be also a good example to understand how to attack uh, pawns, not only the king. Um, so in the game, uh, white plays c3 to fortify the structure, then e6 and bishop b5. And bishop b5 is another key move to attack the queen side, making pressure on c6. After that, bishop d6 and bishop takes, queen takes. Remember that when you attack the queen side, you can also accept some trades because um, attack pawns doesn't require all the pieces in the game because in general it's easier than attack the king. Uh, so castle king side, castle king side, and now rookie one uh, that is useful to support knight e5 um, because the knight on f3 is not so good to attack on the queen side, but playing knight e5 also knight can help the queen side pressure. So black played h6 and now knight e5 is played. Clearly it doesn't work, knight takes e5 because we have pawn takes e5 with a nice fork. So white gains material now. For this reason black didn't take and black played knight e7. a4, that is another key move to attack on the queen side, taking other space and block idea like a6, b5 for black. And after that a6, now the bishop has to retreat, uh, not possible d3 for the bishop. And e2 is not good because they are blocking the rook. That's why white played bishop f1 uh, and knight e7. Probably this is the first mistake played by Nepo. And it's a mistake because after knight takes d7, queen d7, a5, white is able to block the pawn b7. And then white can try and attack with knight c5, rook a3, rook b3. So now b7 is a real, real weakness for black blocked by the white pawn. That's why instead of playing at e7, that is a mistake, black should play maybe queen b6 uh, because after queen c1 there is a5 uh, and uh, black uh, can block the white pawns and probably this position, we can consider this position around equal. In the game, uh, black playing at e7, knight takes e7, queen takes e7 and a5, uh, queen c7, queen f3. And then rook c8. Rook a3 to play or rook b3 or to support a knight on b3, bishop g6, knight b3. Knight c6, queen g3. Uh, the queen trade makes sense also because uh, white can remove an attacker on a5. That could be a target for him. And he didn't trade. So white played h4. h4 also to stop potential move like queen g5. So rook e8. Uh, it's a classical idea because when uh, one player is attacking on the side, uh, usually the best counter play is to counter play on the center. So Nepo is trying to do that playing e5. Even if in this particular case it's not really good because then d5 becomes weak and black has problem on the structure. So after knight e5, e5 was played and here rook b3 attacking b7. Knight takes e5. And now basically we have a fourth line where we reach a position where the white structure is better. White took the pawn, the queen has to move, and then rook a3. The knight has to move, and now white can trade the, knight, the, the bishop for the knight. He has to take, and then h5. The bishop has to move, and then finally knight takes b7. White wins a pawn even if black is able to take back it with queen b6 double attack against knight and pawn. Uh, white played knight d6 and then rook takes e5, queen takes e5, and queen takes b2. Rook a5. After rook a5, um, um, king h7. Okay, I think that in this position is very good for white trying to keep the two pawns 
um, and then win the pawn c4. In this way, white can try to win an game with two pawns against one, two connected pass pawns against one single pass pawn that can give white a good advantage. That's why probably here the best move was queen one to defend the pawn and then play rook c5, rook takes c4. Uh, but in the game, uh, uh, Dingley Ram played uh, uh, rook c5 that give black the possibility to take on c3. Uh, and clear after that, white plays rook c4. But in the game, black played queen c1 because I think uh, Nepal was uh, like... Um, I think black, Nepal was hoping to promote the a pawn and uh, that's why I play in this way, but this is a, the, the decisive mistake because after f6 now, white is able to uh, make a very strong pressure against the black king. a5, knight takes c4, a4, knight e3. And now white is, re is really strong with rook c7, threatening mate on g7. Black is forced to defend it. So rook g8 and then knight d5, threatening f6. And then king h8. Rook a7 attacking the pawn, a3. Not only to attack the pawn, uh, the move at rook a7 is also good to potentially help white queen to join on c7. So a3, knight e7, the rook is under attack, the threat is take the, the rook plus checkmate on g7. So black played the rook on uh, f8, d5, a2. The rook on a7 is stopping the promotion, and white is time to play queen c7. Threatening g7 again with the square attack. So black played king h7, but knight g6. And now the mate is coming, so the only move is uh, rook g8 and queen f7. And in this position, uh, a nepo resigned because it's not possible to start the checkmate. Uh, the threat is this that imagine, no, black takes the pawn, there is queen g8, king g8, check, and then mate here, or even mate on h8. So mate is unstoppable and nepo resigned. Yeah, I think it was a really nice game and a really good example of queenside attack and uh, that at the hand the finished with an attack against the king but at the beginning it was an attack against pawns. Uh, this was very important. And uh, about the opening, the London system, in my opinion, the key move is bishop f5. When black plays bishop f5, usually my advice is to attack on the queen queenside. Um, so this game is a really, really good example of this strategy and I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, for today, uh, for this video is all. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with new videos. Bye.